first of all, man, ro what's wrong with Rollies? <laughs> Is something wrong with Rollies? Yeah. Right? Um, I love the kid. He's, he's like funny as hell. But there's, I think there's something off with him. <laughs> um, no, because he's he's making less money fighting with no guarantee. And I, I wish the, that platform all the best, but when you're going to have Keith Thurman versus who? Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo. Tim Zoo. I, I, no disrespect, because I, I love Tim Zoo. But either one is a pay-per-view guy. That, that's not the way you build pay-per-view, you know, especially a new platform. I would have done, like, pay-per-view stars. But then the problem is they're not receiving guarantees from, from Amazon. That's the big issue with fighters. So, yeah, I wish all the best to, to Rollies. I mean, he's making pennies on the dollar than what I offered him. It's crazy. Oscar De La Hoya hates on PBC. He says that Roley is making pennies. And he questions Amazon Prime's first fight. Listen, we're going to talk about everything. I need y'all to subscribe. Oscar De La Hoya in front of a media scrum. He's obviously provoke, he's promoting a fight that he's doing with Bob Arum. In that, he says, what's wrong with Roley? You guys heard it. He's a funny guy, but something's wrong with him. Then he goes on to say that Roley is making pennies by fighting Isa Pitbull Cruz on Amazon Prime. He's like, why would he do that? I offered him more money. Listen, I said it before and I will say it again. There's doers and donters in this world. Some people like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tom Brady, simply put, they produce. Steph Curry, they produce. Then you have people like Oscar De La Hoya who is a donter. He has an opinion on everybody's ish, like the Amazon Prime deal, which we'll get to in a second. But when is the last time that Golden Boy has put on any pay-per-view by themselves? So don't include Gervonta Davis versus Roley. Just answer that question. If you are a former fighter, you fought on pay-per-view, you know so much about the industry and pay-per-view and why are they doing Keith Thurman versus what's his name? Like you don't know Tim Zhu, son of Costa Zhu, right? Whatever. But if you know so much, where are your pay-per-views? How come Ryan versus Oscar Duarte is not on pay-per-view? Jaime Mugia versus John Ryder, who just retired because he's not all that. That's not a pay-per-view. You have to do a fight with top rank and so on and so forth. So what I notice is you got top rank Bob Arum. You got Oscar De La Hoya. And they constantly talk about PBC and if the deal would work and why are they doing pay-per-views. But it's coming from and people got to you got to think and use your brain. Don't just take my word for it. Use your brain. That's what it's made for. You got people who are commenting about pay-per-view that don't have the stars or the infrastructure to currently in 2024 put on pay-per-views by themselves right barring maybe a few fight like let's say Devin Haney Ryan Garcia if it even happens April 20th you could do that pay-per-view but how many of Jaime Mugia's fights have been on pay-per-view they say he's so big he has a country behind him none of his fights are pay-per-view Ryan Garcia's last fight was not pay-per-view in fact his only fight that was pay-per-view was pbc when you work with pbc and they were the lead promoters so to me this is just oscar de la hoya hating and it's funny to me that pbc they conduct all of their business behind the scenes they don't do a bunch of jaw jacking and talking about fights they just announce they just do this just like apple you notice all the other people like there's I follow them because I have Apple. I'm in the Apple ecosystem. I like Apple products. Right. But you got different YouTube channels and tech channels and 
Apple pages like dedicated to like Apple announcements and they speculate like you see them on Twitter. It'd be like Apple Insider or the the Mac guy, or, you know, what I mean, and these different platforms and their job is to talk about Apple's releases, Apple this, Apple that. And that's all they do is speculate what the iPhone 16 will be like. They don't have actual is their opinion. You know, they might have like certain industry leaks, but the good thing about Apple, they don't confirm or deny anything. They just people speculate. They let people talk. And when they're ready to release, they say, hey, we're doing an Apple press conference and PowerPoint check it out and then upon that point they announce what the iphone 16 really has and no page like none of the boxing twitters or youtube are ever 100 percent. there's more colorways than they expected the camera the a26 chip that's in the iphone or whatnot it's always there's some variance to what the reports were so it's funny since pbc conducts themselves in the same way as like an apple in terms of they are the leaders in their industry and they do all their business behind the scenes. How does Oscar know how much Roly is getting paid? Please let me know that in the comment section. How do you know what that is? You know what you offered him and you're saying that he should have took it, but why, why didn't he take it if you think it was such a great offer, right? So De La Hoya doesn't know how much Roly's getting paid for the Aesop Pitbull cruise fight. It hasn't been declared. There's no like report that came out and said their purses. And then he's just hating. He's hating on Keith Thurman versus Tim Zhu. Either watch it or don't watch it. But notice the usual suspects. They all band together. Old media bands together to slight and talk trash about PBC and ask questions about why are they putting Keith Thurman and why are they putting Tim Zhu? It's a great fight. It's a great card. And legit, it's a better card than anyone else from top to bottom has announced from any other brand. You know, you have Fury versus Usyk. I don't even really know the undercard to that particular fight. And then it got pushed back. You got Joshua and Ganu, which is, you know, some people feel a type of way because it's an MMA guy and a boxer. So I don't really know too much about the undercard. And I haven't really heard too much buzz since it was announced for the Joshua and Ganu anyway, right? So when you're in the lead, people talk. And that's what we're seeing with Oscar De La Hoya, questioning the pay-per-view, saying what the Amazon deal, the structure is. Oh, Amazon is not giving these guys this. How do you know so much? What about your own company? You know, how do you know so much about another company and what they're doing and or why do you care? Do you think I give a uck about what any YouTube channel is doing? I don't. I don't even watch boxing videos on YouTube. I don't, unless it's like an interview. But people speaking their opinions on boxing, I don't watch any of it. I don't care what anybody's doing. I'm worried about my brand and uplifting and building my platform, my community, my audience. And I think if more people minded their own business, the world would be a much better place. Let me know what you guys think. I think Oscar's hating on PBC. This is nothing new under the sun. Let me know what you guys feel in the comments.